is Frank Campesino with The Scoop News. Okay, this was interesting. It was an article or a report that was put out in regards to renewable energy and having um, cities like Venice, because Venice is going to be one of the major areas that's being pushed in on the Sun Coast, where uh, this group, Solar 100, wants to have essentially the city um, 100% or as close as possible to 100% on renewable energy by 2050. This whole, um, this whole program initiative is being ran by Ronald Courtney, as I said, from Seoul 100. And he's a member of the Venice Environmental um, Advisory Council. And their goal is to ensure that Venice is out there making um, the appropriate changes to try to achieve this goal by 2050 using solar power for water. Utilities department, we saw the solar out of Sharkies. Um, you know, they, he says it doesn't all require a lot of changes. Uh, it doesn't require a lot of money in some cases. In other cases, it may require some. They want more stuff like more energy efficient street lighting um, or solar panels on the city hall building, which probably would run a little bit more. You got some individuals on there that are very pro environment, like Fred Fraze, that um, are, would like to see projects like this, but he also realizes that there's other bigger issues that, at play right now that need to be resolved, um, that need the month, the financial dollars, the revenue flowing towards versus Solar 100's initiative by, of renewable energy by 2050. Um, so one thing they are looking for is uh, state, county, any types of tax incentives, federal, for this type of initiative because the money just is not there at the local level. This has been Frankie Abrazino with The Scoop News. Mm -hmm.